What's good, you guys? I'm Chanel with Lizzie's Charm, and this is your daily vibe. Today, we are getting into Mercurial Wednesdays to see what this energy has for us through astrology and some cards, tarot, and oracle. So, a quick announcement if you are desiring to get a reading, some insights, some guidance as this year closes out, or just to see what 2021 is opening up for you, we have a 33% discount on all of our readings right now the link is in the bio under the reading tab so also if you are feeling generous please feel free to leave us an offering in our cash app and we appreciate the love so let's get into this astrology you guys let's see what's going on on this beautiful wednesday how i'm wondering how you guys moon went how your tuesday went i had to take a small break because i had to recalibrate my schedule and get things a little bit more in alignment with my life in a way that is not attempting to force what it is what i want to show up and give to you guys offer to you all in all of the other things that I am feeling called to show up in. So but let's get into this astrology. So today the moon is in Capricorn and I'm having a little return. So that's probably why I was, I felt so pulled in that direction outside of just, you know, following my what's it my call my pull my intuition and showing up in for myself in the best way that I need to you know so when the moon is in Capricorn when the moon is in so we're going to come back and talk about the moon in a second it's Mercury Wednesdays, so we're going to talk about Mercury. Mercury is still in Sagittarius. It's at its 22nd degree. So this is, 22nd is a master number. It's about building. It is about foundations. It's about uh, enterprises, you know, and making things real, making things solid, being very masterful at this, and also being able to follow your intuition, your your internal compass guidance system and that is a really good placement for it to be with mercury being in sagittarius you know because sagittarius is of spirituality it's of connecting with the self with the truth you know with your truth with your journey with your path you know and 22 has a lot to do with what is happening on your path? What are you building? What are you aligning to? What are you bringing into fruition? You know, these are the people that we go to when we need the advice on how to make it real, you know, how to get grounded in life. And all of those like really stable expressions of our human experience. So with Mercury still being in Sagittarius, we are still really getting into the, our beliefs, you know, our perspectives around our beliefs, especially the beliefs that either block us or will carry us forward into the future, into how and where it is, you know, that we are going in the direct, more so what needs to be done in a sense, what actions need to be taken. And, really needing to kind of slow down and pay attention to how it is that we are thinking, how it is that we're perceiving, right? To make sure that we are in alignment, to make sure that we have the knowledge, the tools, the, you know, the people around us that is going to support us wholeheartedly in moving forward. And this is I'm sure this is people who can help us get there, but this is also people who are, around us because they want to be around us not out of any type of other agenda or some type of uh, 
itself a benefit. Granted, every relationship we have brings some benefit to our life, but this, what I'm saying is people who are not out seeking anything that is not genuine, I should say. So this energy is also in connection with Mars and Aries. So this may, things may be moving really quickly because Mercury, not only is it of information, knowledge, perspectives, it's also about business, small business, the small business that you're bringing to life. You know, so we may be moving, seeing quick action happening in this. We may be coming into something that we is in a sense realizing what we did not see before you know especially surrounding how it is that we need to be what it is that we need to do where have we been missing the steps right because when we do this when we go really quickly we it shows up in our life where we have to change things around similar to how i had to do recently yesterday so we're basically in the space of being able to witness, you know, and this is more about being observant, you know, not necessarily being in the space of, okay, I need to fix this, but more so, okay, I have been operating from this space. So how would things shift if I chose to operate from this space? And then being in that space and observing what that is, what's going on there, you know, and that that takes the force out of things. It takes the the tense energy out of of being of, of doing so much, you know, exerting so much energy, right? Because that is what Sagittarius and Aries is about, it's about moving, going, making moves, you know, shaking back. <laughs> but we are just really in the space with, well, let me say with the ruler, Jupiter of Sagittarius still being in Capricorn at this 29th degree is really creating space but also this energy for us to recognize where we need to slow down, where we need to take our time and that it's okay to take our time. We don't have to rush through anything. You know, everything's going to happen as it should. So with the moon being in Capricorn, this can manifest in many ways. We could be feeling very optimistic or we could be very moody because the moon is actually in its fall in Capricorn. So this can trigger or bring up any kind of melancholic states or just any type of pessimism. But when we find ourselves getting in that space, it's really important for us to recognize and see just where are we not being present in the moment? What are we concerned with? You know, granted, sometimes we wake up and we just don't feel good. Sometimes we wake up and we feel great. Either way, and, and that doesn't mean that it necessarily needs to be fixed, but there are times when we are too focused, whether that's in the past or feeling like things are not going well here that's going to support us in the future, that gets us in these moods, and it's important to acknowledge that so that we can be where it is that we need to be in this moment to support us in the future instead of being so focused in the future not happening the way it is that we think it's gonna happen or should happen. You know, because it's right here, right now, that's just the tone, that's the precedent for that. So the moon, um, now this also may be bringing some very optimistic energy and it's in a aspect, a tense aspect with Mars. So we may be feeling a bit conflicted between our feelings, what it is that we desire, our wants, and actually taking the action that needs to happen for that. Or we may be seeing that we have aligned ourselves 
in a way that is supporting us in taking the action, but taking our time and not doing it in this uh, Martian nature of quickness, speed, you know, this quick trailblazing energy. Because in reality, you know, Mars is exalted in Capricorn. So this can bring a, actually a very benevolent energy in supporting us to be able to see the things that's almost like, there's this show my son watches called Super Monsters and one of the monsters, they like up level their monster ability, right? And one, one little special and they got like, um, an animal guide and his was a sloth and he's a wolf so he his uh, ability is speed but when he connected with this sloth it still allowed him to go quickly but he could see every single thing you know that he was passing by like he was able to do things with much more precision and not miss out and really be able to take in the scenery as he's going forward and that's what this energy really speaks to me of, you know, really being able to move forward towards our desires and, you know, make you connecting with others, with those that we love, our family, and, and doing that from an authentic space, right? Instead of it being like this quick, oh, I gotta be here, I got okay, I can't stay long kind of thing, you know? So, Let's see, let's move this up a little bit. So the moon will also be, will also be conjuncting. Hmm. The moon will also be conjuncting um, Pluto, it will also be coming into a conjunction with, let's see, with Pluto, with Jupiter. Is this tomorrow or today? Yeah, that won't be until tomorrow. So Saturn actually goes into Aquarius today. And I know we have been saying as a collective that Saturn was going into Aquarius tomorrow. No, on the 21st. I believe it's Jupiter that's going into Saturn on the 21st. Yeah. <laughs> so Saturn actually goes into into Aquarius today around, it's in the late evening, so sometime around 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Yeah, somewhere between 9 and 10, Saturn is going into Aquarius, so throughout the day we may be feeling a shift in regards to that, but I'll talk about that a little later. I don't want to really get into that. If it comes up in the energy of the cards, I will definitely touch on it. But at the moon, it will be coming into a conjunction with Pluto. So that may be bringing up any type of power struggles, or we may be feeling very close and intimate in our relationships, whether that's with our family, our spouses, um, our children, our mothers. You know, or we may be coming up on some some fears, some some hidden things of ourselves that we weren't aware of, or maybe just some hidden things in regards to people we love, you know, and really recognizing and seeing where it is that our structures kind of need to transform in a sense when it comes to relating to another connecting to another but also our self-love our care um how it is that we have been devoted and taking care and nourishing ourselves 
now it will also be coming into a conjunction and be meeting up with Jupiter as well much later in the evening by the time we most of us will be sleeping because it's a weekday I, I gather that majority of us go to work <laughs> um, but this is the time of COVID so I'm not sure what's going on with others for real to be honest but um, it will be also meeting up with Jupiter so we may be feeling very expanded very benevolent in a sense very what it is that we have been kind of moving towards we may be seeing these things come to fruition in a sense over the next couple of days even and really just being able to align our desires our wants our needs with our beliefs you know and really with the moon having our the, the, the new moon the solar eclipse having already taken place we've already been awakened i should say to the reality of what has not been working for us and we may be coming in alignment with that at, on a collective scale but also personally especially wherever this is going on with you in your chart wherever it is you know that you just been feeling this energy and really in this really aligning with how it is that we want to show up how it is that we want to give love to others how it is that we think you know about life our perception you know how we relate to one another really and we you know tomorrow may be a day that we're waking up in a really good mood so <laughs> with saturn going into aquarius it's about to shift and that's all i can say about that for right now so let's go ahead and get into these cards and see what this energy has for us today it's weird Of all those who are watching, I ask that you come in and give your guidance. As we move through this day, what is it that you would like for us to know? What is it that you would like for us to take with us throughout our day? What guidance do you have for us? What would you like for us to be aware of in this time, in this space? In this present moment. So, we may be needing to take a, some time to pause and reflect, or perhaps, perhaps we need to be a little bit more discerning when it comes to our boundaries and how it is that we allow others to affect us in a sense, how it is that we allow them to, what we take in when it comes to others and opinions and or more so just the way it is that we think about ourselves and find a new way to take some time to operate from a different space maybe you need to put your boundaries up a little bit around what it is that you're choosing to take in around you because this is it, it, it we're about to get very sensitive, right, with Saturn moving into Aquarius, really feeling a lot, but also 
not being able to do as much as we would like to through what it is that we're feeling. And so this is, but this is also talking about needing to continue forward being steadfast in what it is that you have been moving in, creating, building, but also when it comes to connecting with spirit, perhaps you need to take some time to go within, to sit and be still as well. Kind of get your spiritual practice together or be in that, excuse me, what else is here, spirit? I think a cycle, things are coming to a close, around the way that things have been carried out, <laughs> in a sense, that we've been trying to balance things, and perhaps it's the boundaries that are needed so that we can find balance. So that we can be steadfast in moving forward on our own accord and not allowing past the past to affect us in a way that is keeping us from being able to make that final push that needs to happen. You know, we have the age of light. You've been training for this for a lifetime. So this is definitely speaking about being able to move forward in what it is that has been taking place, all right, because we are on this journey, we are, are, are moving, walking through a new door of something new, something's ending, so something new can begin, and what, what's been building up until now, where it is that you have been headed, what it is that you have been doing, it's time to in a sense, let that old way go so that you can come into the truth of who it is that you are, what it is that you came here to be, came here to do, kind of energy. But you first have to kind of get out of your head about it, you know, and know that you are capable in being able to make it happen, being able to jump the broom, in a sense. You know, because we're coming to a place of releasing burdens that have just been weighing us down, you know, especially in regards to, I believe, in truth, right? How it is that we have been going about carrying out our lives, you know, in making things a little bit lighter, <laughs> a lot lighter, and really doing what should be should be done you know the past has taught us what it has needed to taught us now it's time for us to take that wisdom the training right and utilize that moving forward completions wow wow <laughs> so it's over it's done you guys you know we are we can't carry forward into this new world that we are building that's coming alive and anything that's been heavy anything that has been burdening burdening us anything that has been not allowing us to flow freely flow as ourselves it's time to dead that time to put it to an end you know it's time for us to the ouroboros the snake that eats his tail we can't be we're no longer going in these old cycles. You know, we're starting over. We are going somewhere sacred. We are entering our rite of passage, a new rite of passage, you know, and it's going to be something very beautiful. It's important that we choose to see the beauty, to choose, to, to choose beauty, you know, to choose love, to know that it's okay for things to be beautiful that that is we can have a utopia if we so choose it is up to us to release and let go of what is no longer working for us what don't try and take the old with you 
you know, and it's probably not even what you think it is. So if you're like hearing this and like, oh, I'm going to have to let go of this or them, you know, it might not necessarily be that. And oh, that brings me to when watching the reading, it's like, wait, if you're watching this, watch this with an eye of observation, not getting caught into the storyline, not getting caught into, don't attach and hook yourself into what's being shared here. Instead, observe, observe your life, observe the messages and see what's synchronistic for you in that, that is for you, you know? So we have the cougar, you can do it. You can release, you can move forward, you can move into your dreams, you can align your life with your dreams, you know, you can put an end to these old, difficult, hard ways of doing things, you know, it's, it's, we're coming into this time of being able to move in a way that is flowing, that is easy, that is pleasurable, that feels good, it's nothing wrong with desiring to have a life that feels good there's nothing wrong with having a life that feels good that is easy for you where even your biggest problems problems are nothing you know because in reality problems are only what we make them to be we create we create in our mind whatever our problem is based off of conditioning Right, so that's what we're releasing, this conditioning that has been moving with us for so long, that has been weighing us down, that has not been allowing us to truly shine, to truly feel comfortable in nurturing ourselves, to nourishing ourselves and caring for ourselves and feeling like that is okay, you know, because it's, it's time to do that. It's time to do that. can stand everybody can stand tall on the mountain right we all climb the mountain and we climb the mountain not to be seen but to see ourselves right to observe and witness us go through what it is that we have experienced you know and what it is that we take from that and apply to what's moving forward like it's like we've oof, I got the chills, wow. Um, it's like we've been doing things the hard way for so long, right? And now it's time to release that, to let that go to on, and this is on a collective level, not even on a personal level, but on a personal level as well, because not everybody will be willing to do this. Not everybody will see that, that this is okay, okay? But see that this is okay and you can do it. You can let it go. You can end these old cycles in your life that do not serve you. Yeah, so I got the rest card. This is the first half of winter. So this is Capricorn season where we're about to come into. You know, really important to take some time. And it's interesting, we came out of this new moon phase, which speaks of resting. Right, it speaks of planting, sowing the seed, planting the seed, and then resting, you know, so that we can nurture it and water it and, and, and nourish it in a way that is going to sprout an, an immense amount of fruit, you know, that we can bear and take forward with us. And so if and this makes me want to say if there with the moon being in Capricorn, if you have been experiencing anything as far as with your mother, even if your mother is not here anymore, or being a mother, it's time to put that to rest. It's time to let that go. You know, let the past be the past. Don't you know, just focus on being who it is that you need to be right here, right now really put that to rest. I'm going to read this completion card for us really quick before I pull these other cards.
So completion says all things have a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is the nature of life, the seed, the flower, and the fruit, in all of human relationships. Completion suggests the fullness of the moment and the need to transform old form into a new one. You have finished the cycle and there is no more growth or benefit from hanging on to the old. In regard to relationships, it's time to honor what has been and find a new form for the future. In your ventures, it is time to reap your harvest. Completion is a time for celebration. It's the end of summer when the fruit is ripe. The medicine here says, Clinging to the old form will only bring decay. When fruit is left too long on the vine, it rots. You know that it's time to move on, and yet you are reluctant. Do not be afraid of hurting anyone's feelings. Remember that you are responsible for your actions, not the actions of others. Mourn what is lost so you can move on. Do not be sad. Be like the sun at midday who shines brightly, neither longing for sunrise nor dreading the dusk. So, yeah, you guys, it's definitely, you know, time to release the old. Don't don't take with you what cannot be carried, you know, because it's just going to spoil. It's going to spoil the experience. It's going to spoil how you feel about it. It's going to take the beauty and the love out of it. So definitely take this time while the moon is in Capricorn where we can really go in and, and, and get into our bodies and, and see these feelings, what it is, these structures that have kind of been built so that they can just go, go, you know, let it go. Let the past be the past. Don't feel like you need to blame anyone. Don't feel like you need to feel, you know, anything about anything that has happened in the past, really. That's not saying not be accountable for what has happened, but at the end of the day, we are here. That is there. That really don't, in, in, in reality, it no longer exists. It doesn't exist anymore. The only thing that exists is this here and now, right here, you know? So let's see what the little one has. Um, that's nice <laughs> so things are definitely being cut away like the harvest is being what what has grown that's fruitful is being harvested and we have here the flame in the flame this is the this is the seven of pentacles so the seven of pentacles for one let's talk about this as if it was a uh, tarot card. Seven of Pentacles is about continuing to plow and nurture and water and, and feed the seeds, right? It is it's also about a harvest, but it's also about things not moving right now. Things may seem slow at this moment for some of us. For others, we may find ourselves harvesting, you know, really being able to gather what it is that we have been moving towards, what it is that we have been making happen for our lives, the ways that we have been showing up and choosing to be is basically it's paying off. We're seeing that we were in alignment and doing what it is that we need to do. Now the flames, they, it, it represents it's good fortune and it neutralizes any unlucky any unlucky type of energy and it it increases value of that of whatever is unlucky so in the in your life so this is about again throwing it into the flames giving it away letting it go it's almost like we're justice is being served on all levels right whether so if you have been having some legal issues going on, know that that is coming to an end and you are about to receive what it is that you were due from that. And yeah, you made it to the end of that. You know, it's like you can rest, whether that is um, 
whether it's legal issues or whether it's just life in general, family, you know, especially with this flame, it's about her. So that's like, to me, I see a family sitting around a fire, drinking hot chocolate, really enjoying life and, you know, just feeling really good. The utopia, you know, or the utopia is whatever it is that you make it, honestly. So you make it that, you know, really enjoy the fruits that you are bearing and enjoy the justice it is that is being received enjoy life you know really enjoy life i don't know why i feel like i'm about to cry i think it's because i'm the moon is conjunct my moon <laughs> y'all I just feel, and it's not like sad tears, but it's like tears of release of like a, almost like a finally, like, thank you, yes. Okay, let's see what affirmations we have. Y'all, if y'all don't know, I'm a big crybaby, okay? <laughs> and a lot of people who don't really know me probably don't know that about me because I don't come off that way in real life. But so here we have perseverance. So continue to move forward. That brings me back to that nine of wands. Be confident in persevering in your life. You know, continue to show up daily. Continue to persevere in enjoyment, in joyfulness, in happiness, you know, connect with your inspirations, with where it is that you're inspired and start moving into that, where do you move into what feels good, persevere into what feels good, your dreams, like these bottom cards, y'all, it's just saying that we are beginning something new, beautiful, moving into a dream, something that is going to bring us security, what it is that we have been inspired to do, listening to that inner voice, you know, and really moving past those thoughts that have been weighing us down, that have been stifling us in a way that does not bring movement you know, that does not allow us to be in the moment, you know, so perseverance, perseverance says it seems you're on a massive journey right now, and this card has arrived to remind you that you will reach the other side, the mountain you are climbing, for oh, wow, the mountain you are climbing is huge and formidable, but so is your ability to climb it, you don't need to enjoy it, you just need to tackle it, Complain if that makes the job easier, blow off steam. You think mountain climbers get to the top of Everest on inspirational quotes? No way. They're grunting and crying and cursing like freaking pirates. That just doesn't sell a lot of posters. So although that card says that, what I do want to say is tap in and find ways to enjoy being in the moment. You know... And because when you can be in the moment, that'll give you the room and the space to see the love, to see the what can bring the fulfillment, whatever it is that's being learned right here, right now. Being self-aware, you know, gets you from being out of that disgruntled phase because it's like, oh, let me not do this. Let's do this instead. So... What y'all doing instead today, guys? I hope it's something beautiful. I hope it's something wonderful. I hope it brings you pleasure and that it is easy. Okay, so I hope that this has been helpful for you. I hope that this offers you something that you needed today, some answers that you were looking for, and hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you guys tomorrow on Thursday. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I love you all. Many blessings. Bye.